Hey, Steve here, and uh, got a video for you. It's been a while since I left the video on my blog, but I wanted to share something that I feel will help you improve your performance and maybe make things a little bit easier so that uh, you can increase your performance and get more uh, juice out of life and even get better results without having to push yourself to make it happen. So uh, there's this idea, okay, so first I just wanna explain why I believe we all do this and I'm you know kind of this a personality a bit where it's about pushing yourself and at some point you realize that that's probably not the best strategy long term if you want to live a half healthy and happy life right so we all want to get results and we all want to achieve our goals but at the same time we want to make sure that we're there and we're happy when we get there right we want to make sure that at the end it was all worth it and we feel good and we can actually enjoy the fruits of our labor right however there's this idea that, you know, we've got to work hard to get what we want. And I'm not against taking action. I'm not against putting effort into things and putting energy into your projects or your ideas, your career, maybe even the people in your life. I'm not against that. But at some point, what happens is if you keep working hard, if you're working 8, 9, 10 hours a day, 60, 80 hours a week, you start to get diminishing returns. So you keep taking action, but you're getting less than you were when you, maybe the first hour of the day, right? So my point is, is that we have this belief or there's this social paradigm that, and it's a cultural thing, especially Western culture, that we got to keep working in order to get more of the life. And what I'm saying is I want you to flip the whole thing up upside down and say, I'm not against taking action. I think it's a healthy thing to do, to do a little bit every day. But I'll give you an example. One thing that I do a little bit every day, I do 20, 40 minutes of prospecting every day, and it's very rewarding to me, and it's, it's, it does amazing things for my business because I don't have to take a lot of action, and it feels good, and it's very rewarding. But before I got there, I'd spend eight hours a day, 10 hours a day working on building my business, that sort of thing. And I wouldn't feel good because now I'm not with my family, and I'm not actually spending time with the people that I love, which was the whole point of creating a business in the first place. So what's the idea to help you get back in this place of performance without having to push yourself? Well, it's the idea that everything that's good in our lives comes from a source. Okay. So for example, I've got, uh, you know, the grass in your yard, right? It's continuing to grow regardless if it's minus 30 outside or plus 30, right? If it's 30 below or plus 30, the grass continues to grow. So you gotta ask yourself, well, what is causing the grass to grow? Well, it's the source, okay? I mean, Wayne Dyer would call it infinite intelligence, right? Um, universal intelligence. Uh, if you're in Deepak Chopra, call it universal intelligence. But what is it? Well, we don't really know, but we know that it exists. It's sort of like electricity. We're not really sure what it is. You can't see it, but we know it exists, and that you can measure it, right? Which is the same with energy, this infinite intelligence. So if this infinite intelligence is in all things, it's in nature, it's in, um, you know, like when I say nature, animals, um, the things in your yard, right? There's trees that grow regardless if you're having a bad day or good day, it's still going to grow. Well, what causes that growth? And it's this infinite intelligence or the source of all things. And so if you accept or buy into that idea that there's this kind of infinite intelligence that's in all things, uh, in nature, in other people, in fact, and in you, right? Because you're not just this meat suit, there's something underneath it, then um, you'll realize that that's the source of all performance, right? It's in this source. So the next question is, if, that, if the source of all things is what creates performance without having to push yourself, well, how do you connect to the source? Because if you can nourish the connection to the source, then you'll naturally be that growth. You'll naturally be that intelligence. And it's sort of like going back to when you were five years old. If you wanted to go and play in the yard, you'd go play in the yard. If you wanted to go ride your bike, you'd go ride your bike. It was just whatever was fun and interesting to do at the time. But over time, we've convinced ourselves not to do certain things like, oh, I really got to work hard to make money. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. And we think it's true. And to some degree it is. But like I said, after a while, you pinch yourself off that source. And then it's not fun anymore. And in fact, you create anxiety and maybe even uh, depression, uh, but a lot of negative states. So what I'm saying is that if you can nourish your connection to source, if you can 
reintegrate yourself with that source, then what happens is you're going to organically and naturally do whatever you would do to be happy, to have fun, and to create results in your life. So it can actually be an enjoyable process. So instead of you waiting to someday, it's going to be happy when you get there and you're all healthy, you can actually be doing it in the now, which is right now, as you're pursuing your goals and you can still be happy and enjoying the process without that friction. The reason we have friction, the reason we're bucking the current in the lives, the reason we're pinching ourselves off from the source is because we think there's a certain way we need to do things. What I'm saying, if you treat it as a completely different mechanism, is that there's a source in everything and all we need to do is connect to the source, then what happens is everything gets a little bit easier and you still get the results you want in your life, except you're happier, you're healthier, and you've enjoyed the process. So how do you connect to the source? Well, it's really simple. If you are doing something and you feel really bad, if you meet with someone you feel really bad, then you're disconnected from source. The better that you can make yourself feel, the more you can focus on the inside and almost kind of close your eyes or ignore the outside, then what happens is you start to do things that are in your best interest that make you feel the best. And if you do that, what will happen is you're connected to source. And those are when you get the insights. You can actually live in insight just from connecting to the source. So I hope you found that valuable. My name is Steve. Like I said, I haven't left a video blog on my blog in a long time. It's probably been a couple years. But if you really enjoyed this video, then there's a link below. And if you go to that link, it's 7daymanifestation.com. You can get more free training and videos from me on how to increase your glass ceiling, uh, on your financial ceiling, uh, how to attract you know, abundance with ease. And if that interests you, just click that link. You can opt in, put your name and email in there, and uh, register for the training. Okay, cool. So I'll be in your inbox. My name is Steve Martilli. Thanks for listening, and I look forward to speaking with you real soon.